this is Jen from Internet Lessons. In this video I'm going to show you how to put a feed on the front page of your Web Plus website which has come from a WordPress blog. I've installed a WordPress blog and now the first thing I need to do is go and install the FeedBurner plugin. So I go to plugin add new and I want the WP feed burner so search for plugins and then this is the one I want here so install now yes I want to install that and then to activate the plugin so it's from this WordPress site that I'm going to embed into another website Go to Google and type in feed burner. This is the one we want here. What you need to do now is either sign in to your Google account um, with your email and password, or if you haven't got a Google account already, click sign up there. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with my Google account information and I'll see you on the other side. So this is where I need to enter the URL um, for my blog feed. So um, I'm going to use the main domain for the WordPress blog. So here it's privatetutoring.me. If I was, usually when I install a blog, for linking with a web plus site I might put it in another directory say private tutoring.me forward slash blog but in this case it's on a main domain so I put my main domain in there and I'm going to click next and it's saying to me that it's found two feeds now the feed I want is the top one not the one for the comments feed I want the top feed here so I'm going to click next again and here it gives me the title of my feed so for example if you use this email account for more than one feed because you have more than one uh, website you want feeds for this will be the one that re um, relates to this particular website and then here we have my feed address now I'm going to need that later on so when you do this make a note of the feed I mean you can go back in and get it and retrieve it but just it might be easier to um, make a note of it now and now it's saying that basically my feed burner is now live. So you can go on and add extra things to your feed burner account. So you can add extra statistics or um, so here if you want to tick, tick more for adding more statistics um, and for click throughs and that sort of thing. But I'm only using it for the purpose of transferring my blog posts onto a page in my web plus site so I can just bypass this part just click next now that your feed is live and it's called your private internet tutor we need to go over to our WordPress site come to settings and WordPress feed burner and then in the empty box that's there is you need to put in the part of the URL that was set up when we did the um, activated the feed and if you remember it was called your private internet tutor now if you can't remember what that setting is you just need to go up to edit feed details and you can see here your private internet tutor is the part what we need there so now we've set up the, um, the feed burner settings in our WordPress blog we need to save the changes and now what we need to do is go and configure our web plus site what I've done because this was an empty um, WordPress site before I've just created a post a test post as well as the hello world one um, so this is a test post that I've just create it so I'm just going to show you that now so it just said this is a test post to see if it shows up in the RSS feed reader I've opened up the page where I want to put the feed and go to insert RSS 
and then RSS Reader and it opens up a dialog box we have to populate. So if we go back to the feed details we want this feed here, the original feed. So http private tutoring.me forward slash etc. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here and then I'm given the opportunity to change the colours of the title, the headline, the summary and you might want to play around with those to see what looks the best for your website so I'm just going to pick a burgundy one colour there and I think I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger I think I'll just leave the rest for the moment so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to drag and drop the feed and you'll soon see that without even refreshing the page I have now got the RSS feed inside my web plus page it's as simple as that and then what I recommend you do is play around perhaps with the colors and the size of the text there to make it fit in with your website well I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful thank you very much for watching mm -hmm.